Add a checklist. Checklists are selected from within a repair order, printed off, and filled out by the technician. And then the findings are entered in the computer, printed off for the customer, and stay attached to the RO for future reference. But we need to build our checklist in the system first, so let's see how to do that. From the menu bar, click Setups, select Miscellaneous Lists, then Checklist Groups. Notice here there are both checklist groups and checklists. When we create a new checklist, we select Headings, Checklist Groups for our new checklist, where we will then list each item to be inspected. So we need to make sure our checklist group headings are created first. Click on Checklist Groups. Let's select the Show Inactive Checklist Groups box to see the previous deleted checklist group names we might want to use. If I wanted to use one of these deleted groups, I can just right-click on it and select Undelete to make it active. But let's just click Delete on that one again. Now I want to add Other as a checklist group. So click the Add button, enter in our new group name, and then click OK. And now it's on the list. We could also click the Edit button to open a highlighted group name, edit it as needed, then click the OK button to save our changes. Now that we have the group headings we need, let's build our checklist. So close this window, go under Setups, Miscellaneous Lists, and select Checklists. And this opens the Checklist Templates window, listing our existing checklists. Same thing here. We could check the Show Inactive Checklist Templates box, and it would display any previously deleted checklists that we would want to reactivate using that right-click and selecting Undelete again. We're going to add a new one, so click the Insert button, and here is a blank checklist template. First, we enter a checklist name to be printed at the top of the checklist. Let's call it a 10-point inspection and the tab key can be used throughout this form. It's pretty handy. Now, we can select here to have all these items appear on the list, even if we don't inspect them, and that item is marked off in the column Items Not Inspected. Let's check the box to see what the columns will look like. So in this section, you can see our first column of checkboxes will be Not Inspected. It's already taken. But then we get to pick the headings for the other two columns. The system comes with the default of Pass or Failed, but you can customize these. So let's say OK or Needs Attention. In the Notes field, we can enter a note that will automatically print in the Notes section, or we can just leave it blank to be filled out when the technician hands in his checklist. And here is a spell check function to check our entries. Now let's add our checklist items. So click the Add Checklist Item button down here and we'll select a group that this item will be listed under, and we'll pick under Hood, enter the description, Fluids. Then we select a number with the spin buttons, number 1, and this will order our items on the checklist. Then click OK to save this item. Then we enter our next item, same group heading, and the item is Belts, and this is priority number 2 and so on for this group. So let's do a couple more. These checklist items in the description section can be up to 100 characters including spaces. And then we're going to add an item that we want in the next group heading, Undercar, and Exhaust, and this is item number 5, and OK. And a few more here. And if needed, we could click on the Edit and Delete buttons in the lower left to change a selected item on our list. And note, any changes you make to a checklist template will not affect the checklists already selected on Open Repair Orders. And under our third section, Other, we're going to have Lights. And this is number 9, and OK. And let's finish up with Wipers. And 
and when we're done, we could click OK and our new checklist is saved to our checklist templates list. Let's close here and open up a repair order. Click the checklist link on the left and click the Add Checklist button and this will open the list and double click on the one you want or highlight the checklist and click Select and here is our checklist. See the Not Inspected column? That's that extra column we checked that box for. So we would click OK and let's see what the checklist would look like for the technician. Click on Options and select Print Technician Checklist. And this is what the form looks like for the technician, which is different than what the customer will see. We have a place to check OK or Needs Attention and an area for Notes. So let's close this. And once the technician is done, double click on that checklist or click the edit button, enter any notes the technician may have, and then mark each item. And enter notes for any item if needed. And we can choose to print the items marked as not inspected or uncheck this and leave them off and then check the box that says completed and click OK. And here you can see it is marked completed. And when you print out your completed invoice for your customer, just check the print checklist box and a final completed checklist will print out for the customer. And this concludes the lesson on add a checklist.